My name is Raymond Ellison. I was born and raised in Saginaw, Michigan. I'm 54 years old. Hey, I moved to Detroit in uh, 1975. I've been here ever since. I'm a barber down here in Detroit for the last going on 37 years. And that's pretty much what I'm still currently doing now. Oh, well that's been kind of a thing where you know I used to be, used to be that and they've taken it to the next level. Just like everything else with the computers and all the high tech stuff and the stuff you never heard of, never thought would happen. And now it's all, you know, totally different when we were kids playing sports and sports, you know, it's just totally different now. Uh, up to the next level, I mean, just big things happen now, you know. Well, as a kid, we, we was raised up in a rural area like in Saginaw. So we played sports all day long as we was able to get up and know how that's what was our activities all day. Baseball was number one. Then maybe became basketball and then football all day long, all three sports. We would always play. So getting to know it then, you know, started like that. So the most important athletes were us. Well, who we could remember was Muhammad Ali, I would say, was number one because he broke all kind of barriers. You know, that's, that's an IH bracket. Of course, it was a lot more before him, but what I remember was Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I would say that was the number one. Okay, that would be a kind of hard one to answer there. Because being my age, I've saw so many exciting games, just say, Every year you see an exciting game. So I mean, you get to say what level, but if I had to take it back to just say to a college level, I say when Magic Johnson in 1979 played, I think played against Larry Bird. I thought that was the number one game I'd ever saw a tough one, but like I said, every year is always something exciting. So whatever it is, it's always wiped out the next year because something else comes up just as exciting. Well, I think the, uh, the players have become so young, and I won't say immature, but they just do young things. You know, they're millionaires, they do young things. So they blend in with the fans, hang out with the fans. Well, you would think the older guys, you know, wouldn't do that, but now you know you're right there and you subject see them anywhere. And they're pretty friendly though, you know, when you see them, I guess. So I guess it's almost like when other other people see them, they almost treat them normal, like they're not young millionaires or, you know, young sports athletes. And where well, we used to think they were kings, you know, but uh, it's a little different now. Okay, money has changed it tremendously, almost terrible. I mean, it's a good thing, but now it's not all about the game. It's really all about the money. And then the game comes second. So, you know, I mean, just think when guys coming out, sign $100 million endorsement contracts. You know, it changes things. It makes them think they're invincible. You know, and I think it affects their place, so, you know, yes, it, it really not did a good job, as far as I see, but, you know, then again, more power to them, get that money, because it's their form, so, yeah, they deserve it.
Well, we, we look at uh, sports figures a lot different now than we did when we were kids. We used to think they were invincible, that they could do no wrong, and that they were just one of a kind and couldn't be touched, couldn't be gotten near anything. Now that we're older, we see a whole lot different than the problems they go through and all of this stuff, and we still understand them. They are a sports athlete, but it's much different than we thought it was when we were kids. We just didn't know. Oh, well, I guess we all know the racism is still alive and kicking. So, you know, it's got to be a touch in sports also still. But I think it should be abolished in sports, you know, because we all get along. Some folks have hatred for one another, so we'll be it. If they do, they do, but I don't think it should determine anything in sports and all of that. Because, as you see, as many, most of the young black men in sports and wherever they are get along perfectly well. So I don't think it's a real, real big problem in sports. But all around, I guess we are sure one way or the other is still among us. Amongst us. Yeah, I think they need to uh, lighten up and kind of like abolish the uh, rules on drugs and sports. I mean, you know, you take a pill here, a pill there. It's not really helping them that much, I don't think. They're athletes anyway. You know, we all have a pain. We might need a little medicine sometime, but they get so much trouble for all that. Even the marijuana, as far as I'm concerned. You know, just let it go. Lighten up on them, you know? Yeah, women's sports, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I favor uh, women's basketball and baseball. Football, just so-so with that. But uh, especially my number one is ladies' college basketball. For some reason, I just always watch that. And then, you know, the pros, they're, they're okay. But it's not something you sit down and watch all the time. They haven't won you over like that, but it's pretty good. I think women in sports is a good thing.